Welcome to the Iwi Den, coming from my breakfast table. I have something to talk to you about. I've been working on a pattern a day now. This I just completed month four. I just wrapped up the Bebop month uh, scale structures. Next month will be Bebop chord structures. And when I started this project, I was envisioned it as fingering training. You know, I have several different systems that I use, and it just felt like a pretty graceful way for me to convey those thoughts to others and maybe help them with their playing and a way to get comfortable with the instrument. And then as I was going along, you know, well, I guess if you think about something for four months, you start to get to some ideas eventually. So I was thinking like, wow, this really is turning out to be like a very graceful way to thoroughly investigate uh, jazz theory and at the same time put it on your instrument and apply it to uh, improvisational context, you know, with play-alongs and, and tunes and such. So so what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a couple of those lessons available to you for free so you can check it out. So at least you know what's going on. So here, I'll show you how this is laid out. So here's the digital pattern month. So every month I've been doing 28 lessons and they're organized so that there's like six days where you get a new pattern and then day seven is you shake it up and you either apply the pattern to something or, or do a variation of the pattern or there's something completely different. And the whole month is outlined just like that. So every day a lesson a new lesson's drip. So you know, just like it says here, a new lesson will be unlocked every day. So that's how it's organized. So if we just look at lesson number one, uh, it has uh, a novice video and an advanced video. Any pattern, like literally any pattern, could be a novice and advanced pattern. I mean, it just depends depends on how you do it. You know, a novice, the goal probably would be to be able to spell the pattern and play it in most of the keys, if not all the keys. An advanced guy, you know, you're changing the rhythms, changing the speeds, you know, changing the root movement. You can make anything difficult in the musical world, right? That's just, that's just part of the way things work. So then there's always going to be resources, and if you sign up for the, the free lessons here, you're, you're, you'll you have access to all of these. It's the Root Movement page. That's probably worth just going to get. Um, fingerings, the home fingerings, the pentatonic group fingerings, the transposable fingerings, the iwi blank worksheet, and uh, another. Oh, there's the answer key to the fan. And so that's how, that's how the lessons are laid out. And then let's check out the day seven. This is the other one I'm going to unlock and make available so it has it has a video and it has some new resources and then there's sort of like a resource library so this just continues so all the stuff is available to you so you might want to you know if you get into some kind of tricky pattern you can can download the worksheet again and, and it'll be there for you so if you're interested in doing this i guess all you need to do is like fill out the form if you're looking at this on facebook and if you're on youtube then you have to go to the information section and and click on the link and it'll take you there and that's all i needed to say for today so i hope you're well and i'll see you soon